Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really sweet card for you. I actually made this card a while ago, like in the spring, and I just never got to it. So I do have to say the embossing folder that I use is retired, but I'm gonna show you another embossing folder um, that I love just as much. Um, this is a fun set because you can do, I really like when Stampin' Up! does this, they do this a lot. You can make the flower cart by stamping it, or by die cutting it, paper piecing it. We're gonna do a little bit of both here. Um, we're gonna die cut the cart and then stamp the rest of it, okay? Um, let's start with our stamping. We're also gonna emboss the sentiment on a piece of basic black. Uh, let's start with a little awning. I love a black and white striped awning. I just, anything black and white stripe is my favorite. So I'm gonna put that right there, okay? And then we're gonna stamp the flowers. Now I have found for me, the easiest thing to do is to stamp the greenery part first. So I'm gonna stamp that right there in Granny Apple Green. And then I'm gonna stamp the flower parts and I'm using bubble bath. I'm gonna kind of mix my pinks up a little bit I have to stick my head in here, hopefully. And you, you just fit it in like a puzzle piece, okay? Boom, It's this is a really easy two-step stamp. I'm mixing up my um, pinks a little bit. Our card base is actually gonna be pretty in pink, but the flowers, I wanted them to be a little bit lighter, so we are doing them in bubble bath. All right, uh, heat emboss, so I use my embossing buddy on, um, the, the basic black to remove any static. The embossing buddy comes in this little kit called the embossing uh, additions kit. And get all that off. You actually, actually also get a, well, I don't know why all of my pieces are always where they don't need to be. You get a, a little reversible um, tweezers and a paintbrush to kind of brush all that off. But, uh, you know, like always, mine is missing. All right, let's hit, hit it with a heat tool. Make it bright white. You'll know when it's bright white that it's done. And I'm gonna cut this one out with um, Unbounded Love dies right here, all right? Now there will be a supply list on my blog as always. This is part of my Facebook Friday this week. So I always make some individual videos of the projects if you're not a fan of the Facebook Live format. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna use uh, this awning right here, this awning die. We'll get that. You wanna make sure to get all those little legs lined up. And then the flowers are right here. And let's get that in. You wanna lay your plate down, make sure nothing moves, and run it through. Now, if you want, you can stamp your cart, but I'm just, I'm a fan of paper piecing. I like to use cardstock um, to create pieces. So we're gonna do that. Let me show you something on this die. This is actually a frame die, and I'm using the inside part, but it also cuts out this little frame if you wanted to use that frame somewhere as well. In fact, I'm thinking we could use that on the inside. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Let's save it and see. Okay, so we've got those pieces. The other things that you're gonna need to do is get this die right here. Now, don't confuse that one with this one. This die is for the stamped wheel. This is for just the cardstock wheel, which I have already cut out, okay? It cuts out that, and it cuts out this little, uh, those are like the little legs in the front. Then uh, it cuts out that wheel as well. And then I have cut out this one right here, which is the little fence kind of around the flowers. All right, um, one thing I also wanted to point out to you that when I cut these out, I put an adhesive sheet behind my cardstock. So when, um, we adhere it, it's gonna be super easy. If you look closely at my card, I my glue, I use glue here at first and it really is so thin, it's just almost impossible to get that glue there without it just kind of spreading out. So this time I had the forethought to actually 
um, use an adhesive sheet. All right, first let's put our little box together. This one I didn't use an adhesive sheet because it's a little bit easier to use. Since I had the adhesive sheet on the cardstock, I could have, but I just didn't. All right, so we're just gonna put that on there like that. All right. All right, now for the embossing folder, I told you I was using a different one this time. This is called Dashing Designs. It's kind of a diagonal quilted look. I thought it was really pretty and I thought it would go well here. So I'm gonna put that on here on my pretty and pink card base. All right, and then we're gonna start with some dimensionals. And we'll start with our little box here. And I'm just gonna, let's just do one because we're gonna have to stick those wheels in there. All right, now this uh, wheel that's by itself is going to be your back wheel. So take your adhesive backing off and we're gonna just kind of stick that back there like that. I'm not gonna push it down because we might need to adjust it after we put this one on. All right, now this one has this weird looking triangle thing, but it actually is the connector to the other wheel. And so this one is gonna go here in the front like that. Okay, there, now we can stick all that down. All right, now remember we've got this really skinny little tri pokey thing that you're like, what in the world is that? It are It is the little legs for the front of our cart. So peel off your backing. And we're just gonna put that right there, okay? All right, dimensionals. Let's put dimensionals on this awning. That. and then we'll get our flowers and of course we'll do dimensionals on that too I am a fan of dimensionals and I'm just gonna kind of stick it down let's see we want a little bit of it to hang over but we want you know what let's do this we're gonna have to raise this up a little bit let's put that there and raise that up. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. All right, the last thing you're gonna do is get your fence. Very carefully peel off that backing so you don't tear. And then it just goes right here around the cart. Those flowers are kind of poking out. Okay, so there's that, pretty easy. We're, you know what, I've got, um, an, um, uh, hello crumb cake light and I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of shadow here so that our cart isn't just you know floating around and then we're going to put this right here like that and I have my favorite ribbon right here I become blind when I am making videos. Suddenly I cannot find things that are sitting right in front of me. All right, take this and make a bow like that. There we go. And then again, let's see if I can find my scissors. I don't have my good scissors, so I'm not going to do a great job here. Okay, so there, we've got the front done. Now let's do the inside. Um, I have a piece of basic white, and I thought it would be fun to just stamp some flowers on this. We have a little thing of flowers, so I'm going to get pumpkin, I mean a pecan pie, and stamp that there. And then again, we'll do the greenery and granny apple green and the flowers and bubble bath. Let's see if I can get them to fit right there. There we go. Now I was thinking about this. 
What if we did that? I kind of like that. Let's add that in. A little bit of glue. I mean, we might as well, right? Since we're, I mean, we're just gonna throw it away. There we go, cute. All right, and then you just are gonna put this on the inside of your card. Now remember, if you need the measurements or the supply list, they are on my blog today, as well as two other flower cart projects. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll give this adorable bundle a try. It is one of my very favorites. Um, let me know if you have questions and happy stamping, everybody. Thanks so much. Bye.